Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney and we're answering a publicly posted question from abo.com. This question this this question this question was posted on February the 16th um, in New York, New York, and I will read it into the video right now. Severance agreement states giving up personal compensation from EEOC. Is this enforceable? That's the headline. Here's the question. As stated, severance agreement says if I pursue anything with the EEOC for discrimination and they award a financial sum, I might, I'm waiving my rights to it. Can they legally enforce this? What if I file a case with the EEOC now, then sign the severance agreement after the fact? Would those terms not apply since I already filed the case before executing the contract? Background is I think there was also discrimination and retaliation in my firing. Okay. So... <clears throat> Basically, what you're seeing here is that a severance at its heart is an employer trying to buy you out of your claims cheaply. People get weird ideas like, oh, they want me to be okay. They're trying to give me some money. No, they don't care about you. They don't care if you live. They don't care if you die. Nothing. They're buying you out of your claims, right? Um, some You also get weird things like, oh, they're required by law to give me a severance. Probably not, unless you're in a union with a very particular collective bargaining agreement or if you have a special contract governing your employment, it is very unlikely that you are required to receive a severance outside of uh, certain layoff situations, th things of that nature. So, you know, 99 times out of 100, if you're receiving the offer of a severance package, the goal of that package is going to be to buy a release against all claims from you, and, and that's going to be effective. That release is generally going to be effective. And also often they want non-disparagement provisions, confidentiality, things of that nature, depending on the state and the jurisdiction and, and also the claim, right? We did see some shakeups on the federal level um, to an extent on that, uh, although it hasn't been very effective yet. So um, when you're asking, will that be effective? Yes, the case law reflects, generally speaking, if you're signing that and you're not doing so under duress, then what you're doing is selling away your claims, signing a release, and generally courts will uphold that release. It is very, it can be very difficult to get out of such a release in a severance agreement. The question goes on, uh, what if I file a case with the EEOC now, then sign the severance agreement after the fact? Would those terms not apply since I already filed the case before executing the contract? Uh, that's not gonna do you any good. Realistically speaking, it's, it's very unlikely to do you any good. What you need to understand is the severance exists solely for the purpose of clearing out your claims, right? So if they didn't think they were going to be successful in buying out your claims and obtaining a release in return for this payment, they wouldn't be giving it to you. It doesn't mean it's a sure thing. Nobody, nobody in the realm of employment law can ever tell you 100% of the time this is what's going to happen. Can't be. But... In the scenario you described there, if you succeeded in collecting money because you filed the EEOC before you signed the release, you would be one in a, maybe one in 10,000 shot at that, maybe one in 100,000 shot at that. You know, I don't know. Um, I think that would be very, very unlikely to work. And um, yeah. I'm sorry, that's probably not the answer you want, but I think it is the answer you need. You need to understand what they're trying to do is get you to give up your claims. If you want to pursue your claims, generally speaking, you are going to have to refuse the severance package and um, and fight it out. Now, don't, and, and I've, I've, I've talked to these people. These people, sometimes people call you up and they're like, hey, I'm going to take the package and then I'm just going to sue them anyway. That's not going to work out great. It's just not a good idea. And you can have those, you can be like, hey, listen, that's not going to work out well. Here's why. And then kind of go through the spiel that I just gave you. And they'd be like, oh, no, you're wrong. People do this all the time. They don't. That's not a thing. Um, and you're going to be hard pressed to find a lot of cases where that was successful. There will be one or two, of course, uh, but they are extraordinarily rare. Okay. So just be aware of that. I hope this video was helpful. I'm sorry it's probably not the answer you want. Um, but I do want you to be fully armed with kind of the facts and the law here. Like and subscribe. It helps me to help more people just like you. And uh, good luck to you. I hope that 
you are capable. I hope you're in a place in your life where you can say no to that severance package and fight your case out and get get what you're actually due, which I would assume might be more than uh, they're offering you the severance package. Good luck.